привет! С вами Елена, и я очень рада нашей новой встрече. Как дела? Надеюсь, все отлично. Как настроение? Надеюсь, просто замечательное. Today I want to speak with you about grammar rules, and it's a very important theme. I want to speak with you about gender. I think do you know that in Russian language all words have gender. We have three genders – masculine, feminine and neutral. I want to say you there are two types of gender – grammatical gender and neutral gender. Neutral gender – it's uh, sex, it's connected with sex, so or masculine or feminine. For example, woman – so feminine gender and a man is masculine. Uh, now we let's speak about grammatical gender. To be sure that you see masculine gender, look at the ending of the words. If the words ending on consonant, for example, divan, stol, dom, it's a masculine gender. So translation is sofa, table, home. Or if uh, words end with y. For example, чай, музей, трамвай. It's also masculine gender. Translation is tea, museum, tram. Or also it can end in with a soft sign. For example, день, портфель, словарь. Uh, translation is day, briefcase, dictionary. We have some exception. The words which end in with a or ya, and it's also masculine gender. It's the, wo uh, the words which have natural gender, masculine. For example, papa, daddy, dadia, uncle. Мужчина, man, or names like Misha, Sasha, Ilya, Fama, and so on. In that soft sign in the end, it has not just nouns masculine gender, all also feminine gender. There are some rules uh, which help you to decide what is it, masculine or feminine. So the A, uh, the month of the year, it's always masculine. Janvar, Fivral, April, Iyun, Iyul, Sintyabr, Aktyabr, Nayabr, Dekabr. B, nouns denoting male persons. Knyaz, Parin, Karol, Zet, Tsar. Test. It's also connected with natural, so sex. And uh, C nouns ending in this suffix tel or ar. It's uh, you can compare as the same in English or or er. Slavar, fanar, pisatel, prepadavatel, chitatel, pakupatel. Водитель, зритель, библиотекарь, аптекарь, пекарь. Feminine gender ending in A. Картина, лампа, книга. So translation picture, lamp, book. And in Я. Семья, лекция, земля. So translation Family, lecture, earth. And soft sign, as I said. Жизнь, дверь, любовь. Life, door, love. Rules which help you to decide feminine or masculine nouns with soft sign for feminine gender. A. Nouns denoting female person. Like a natural gender, mat, doch, svikrov. B nouns ending in z, ch, sh, or sh. Maladjosh, chush, loj, mish, pech, 
вещь, ночь, помощь. And C. Abstract nouns formed with the suffix ost or есть. Молодость, зрелость, грубость, вежливость, свежесть, радость, новость, тяжесть. Some of book give gentle with pronouns. So masculine on, he, feminine, она, she, neuter, оно, it. I'm not sure that it really help you understand what mean neuter gender. Some of you ask me um, about it. In Russian language, it's just grammatical rule. If you make mistake and say красивый женщина instead красивая женщина, it's uh, very funny. And uh, it's clear when it's female and male, feminine and masculine. But with neuter you just should learn the ending and learn that this word has um, neuter gender. So um, ending O. Письмо, кресло, слово. Translation is letter, armchair, word. Е. Платье, море, здание. Dress, see, building. Or ending мя. Время, имя, пламя. Time, name, flame. You need to know gender to make right coordination. For example, красивый мужчина. Красивая женщина. Красивое платье. Ending is different for every gender. For masculine, for feminine and for neutral. And I hope the words that I give you are like example. You can learn it and use it because I use uh, very popular and common words. Now let's repeat. Masculine. You can see here. Erding in consonant, dom, stol, i, ending in i, chai, tramvai, and soft sign, portfel. Feminine, ending in a, lampa, kniga, in ya, simja, zimlia, and soft sign, dver. And neuter, ending with o, pismo, kresla. In ye, платье, здание, and with мя, пламя. I want to give you some recommendation for two resources which you can use to improve your knowledge of Russian, especially uh, gender. At first you can use this resource. Um, the site uh, have some information that will be very helpful for you and the second is this site here you can uh, find also some information about gender and grammar rules and uh, also the play game um, which help you improve your knowledge любите и будьте любимы и будьте счастливы с вами была елена Пока-пока и до новых встреч!